Well, hello there. How are you? <laughs> no, really. How are just, you? Today we're just playing with makeup. I have some products that I want to try again. Most of these products I've tried once before. I think there's one or two that I haven't tried at all. I just wanted to see again how I really felt about them and I thought you guys might like to join me. If you're new here, welcome in. I'm so glad you stopped by. I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. I hope you'll consider subscribing while you're here and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. Like I mentioned, most of these products I've used once before. I want to try them again, and then I have a couple that I'm really interested in that this is the first time. As always, all the products that I used and mentioned today will be listed and linked below, and they'll also be over on the blog, so super easy for you to find. And with that, Let's hop into it. I'm going to start off with a little plumping lip gloss. This is the Buxom lip gloss. This is in the color Claire, and it's just about empty. For a face primer, I'm going to use the Stila One Step Correct. I don't know, you guys, this may be a little bit of a chatty. Get ready with me. I've been doing some fun stuff lately because the weather is getting a little bit warmer. It's sunny. There's more hiking trails available now. What have you been doing? Oh, and here's what I really want to know. What are you looking forward to doing this spring and summer? Make sure you put it down in the comments below because I want to see what you guys are up to. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyeshadow Primer for my lids. This is the Maybelline Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. I really like this. So you guys might remember that I started a hiking club. <laughs> it's going so good. And we are having so much fun. We have over 400 members already. It's just been a couple of months. But we have a really good core group of people that go to almost every hike. We're running about two events per week. Sometimes we do three, sometimes it's just one, but generally it's two. We've just been having a great time. I want to tell you what we did last night. And it was something I just got the inspiration to do it. And I thought, oh, that sounds like so much fun. So I'm filming today on Sunday morning. So last night was Saturday night. And what we did is we did a little walk that's in our local community and what it is it's a paved path around a wetlands area where it's really pretty it's very peaceful the path is super easy it's flat it's 3.1 miles almost anyone can do it and there's a lot of wildlife because of the wetlands area so we all got together in the evening at five o'clock and we did the walk around the wetlands area. I actually got there at four and did the walk with a couple of people before everyone else got there. So I got six miles in, which is just about good for me for a day. And then afterwards, we had a potluck outside in the park underneath the gazebo. It was so much fun. And there was so much great food and some people brought wine and beer and oh gosh we just sat underneath the gazebo outside and talked and just had the best time and everyone was so thrilled with that they were like we've got to do this every month <laughs> so i guess that's what we're going to be doing you know one saturday a month until it gets cold again and I'm really excited about that because there's some nice friendships developing from the club and everyone gets along really well. It's just been a lot of fun. So make sure you tell me what you've been doing lately to have fun or what your plans are for the spring and summer months. For eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using one of the new Sigma 9 Pan palettes. I love the Sigma eyeshadow formula. You guys know that. This is the Ivy colorway in the 9 Pan palettes. I'm going to put together a very soft, bright eye look with just a little bit of color today and I thought this would be perfect. I'm going to start off with the color Mead right here and that's going to go right in the transition area. So I'm just going to keep my eye natural. I'm not going to lift my eyebrow and just place that right above my natural crease. And once I have that placed right under my eyebrow, I'm going to bring it down into my natural crease. I want to keep that application fairly light. So I want the eye look to be pretty fresh and bright looking. I'm just going to blend that in. These are my BK Beauty eyeshadow brushes. I really do like them. It seems like this is all I use anymore. If you want to check them out, I do have a discount code down below. So make sure you use that. If you pick any up, you'll save yourself a couple dollars. Now I'm going to take a flat brush and dip it into this color Thistle right here. This looks like a navy blue with a little bit of a teal tint. 
it's really pretty and I'm going to keep that just right at the outside corner of my eye. I don't want it to go over my movable lid very much. I just want to accent that outside area of my eye. So I'm going to take just a little bit on the top bristles of my brush and just place it right here in the outside corner. And then I'm going to turn it and go into the crease just a little bit. These shadows are so delicious. They're so pigmented and yet so easy to blend. I just really love working with them. It's kind of like painting. Now I'm going to take my 201 brush and just smooth those edges out. I don't want to move that color very much. I really want it to stay in that outside corner, but I just want to soften up the edges into that transition shade. So I'm just wiggling that brush around right in place. These just blend in so beautifully. Now I'm going to take my finger and dip into this color Aspire right here. It's a gold shimmery shade, really pretty and very light. And I'm just going to tap that all over the movable lid. Now I'm going to go back in with that blending brush and just blend that in to the transition shade and then out into the corner to that dark blue shade. Now I'm going to go back into that dark color and I'm just going to add a little bit more emphasis to the outside corner of my eye. Just staying right in that outside area, just darkening that up a little bit. Now I'm going to take my small little angled brush and I'm going to go ahead and spray it with the fixing spray. I'm going to dip it back into that dark color and get a little bit just on the tip of that brush. And I'm going to use that for eyeliner on my upper lash line. I've never done this before. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work out but we'll give it a whirl. Actually, it's working out really well. I'm surprised. And I'm just gonna angle it a little bit up as I get to that outside corner. Gee, that kinda turned out pretty, I'm surprised. I have a new skill. The nice thing about a brush is that it gives you kind of a softer edge, so if your eyelids are a little uneven and textured like mine, it looks a little bit better. You don't have to really worry about that line being perfect because it's a softer, sort of more subtle edge. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better. I've used this only once before and I liked it. I don't know that it wowed me like it has wowed some people. Maybe it's just not quite perfect for my skin, but I did want to try it today to see how I felt about it. I have it in the color Fair Neutral. I'm going to start off with about a pump and a half. You can see it's a little bit liquidy. And just tap that over my face. And then I'm just going to press that in with a sponge. It does have a nice finish on the skin. It doesn't look to me on my skin to have any kind of dewiness or glowy look to it. It's a little bit flat on my complexion. But it really does put a very, very nice, even texture onto the skin. It's really pretty. I'm going to add just a little bit more to the areas on my face that have sunspots. What I can say about this foundation is that it's really a nice, smooth look on the skin and it really does even out my skin tone really well. If you don't like any kind of dewiness or glowiness to your foundation, this could be a good fit for you. It looks pretty on the skin. In other words, it doesn't look like it's sitting on top of the skin. It really has a skin-like look to it. And it does claim to make your skin look better after two weeks of use. So I don't know about that, but that's what they say. And yes, we have a new concealer today. <laughs> This is the Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer. I got it in the color Bone. I don't know that I've used much Clinique products at all. I certainly haven't used any of their concealers. I have been using one of their under eye moisturizers and liking that. So I wanted to give this a try. You can see the color right there. I like the fact that it looks like it's going to be a little bit brightening. And believe it or not, on the back of my hand, it feels pretty hydrating. So we'll see how it is. Oh, I forgot to color correct. I'm going to color correct with my Pixi eye brightening. This is in the color peach. I don't know how I forgot this step. Just going to put that right underneath my eyes in the purple areas. Just with my little finger and you just don't need very much. This container looks tiny but gosh it would just last forever because you use so little. So it has one of those kind of bent applicators, the doe foot applicators that are a little bent and it's a tinier one. It looks a little bit like a paddle. And I'm just going to place that right, a little bit right underneath in the purple areas. And then a little bit in the outside corner. It's got a little bit of a yellow tint to it. Blending that in. 
You know, it feels it feels pretty much like an average concealer. It's not feeling super hydrating or super creamy. It is blending in fairly nicely. And it's doing, I think, like a medium job of covering up my circles. What do you guys think? <laughs> so there's the concealer close up. It dried down pretty easily and it looks nice. I'm gonna set it with a little bit of my Fenty powder. This is the lavender powder from Fenty. I've been loving this for my under eyes lately because it brightens just a little bit. So a little bit on my big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna really gently place that underneath my eyes. For contour bronzer today, I'm gonna to be using a new palette from e.l.f. At least it's new to me. I haven't used this at all. It's called the Contouring Blush Bronzing Powder. <laughs> and it has two different shades in it right here. I suppose that they think this is the blush. I think that might be a little bit too light for me. I'm really liking this contour color right here, so I'm gonna give that a whirl today. Just gonna get a little bit on my e.l.f. tapered brush, tap it off, and we'll see how that looks. I like the fact that this color looks really cool. I prefer that <laughs> I don't have too much orange on my face when it comes to a contour bronzer situation. I'm liking the way it's looking on the skin. Looks a little strong right now, but I'll blend it in. I like that color. Now I'm going to blend that in with a big fluffy brush. See how nice that looks blended in? I think it's pretty. For blush, I'm gonna use one of the new Milani Cheek Kiss blushes. Have you seen these? These are a cream blush, but gosh, the formula, it feels different than a cream. It's just really, really juicy, almost a little bit oily feeling. And I know that doesn't sound very good, but they feel really, really good. I've used them a couple of times. I don't think I've used this color at all. This is your a peach. So I've got a little bit on my fingers right here and I'm just gonna tap that in. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty pigmented. It's a pretty color though. These blend in so beautifully and look so natural on the skin. Mm, I like that. Let me swatch it on the back of my hand so you can see the color. Boy, they're so pigmented. One of these would last you forever. Look at that right there. Isn't that just so very pretty? It's a nice peach color. Just really soft, a little bit of pink in it. Really, really pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and take my sponge and just press that in and really work around the outside edges of where that blush is to blend it into the skin really smoothly. Gosh, I love that color. I like that. <laughs> I'm thrilled. For highlight, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild. This is their Two Reflect palette. This is such a huge pan size, look at this. I think I could have this for the rest of my life. I'm gonna get a little bit on my fluffy brush and then just hit the tops of my cheeks. A little bit on the front. This is a real subtle highlight. If you like a real subtle sheen, this is a good choice. Before I go in with mascara, I'm gonna use my Essentials palette and just do a little bit of brightening around my eyes. I have a flat brush here. I'm gonna dip it into this color Snow and just open things up and brighten things up there. So a little bit right underneath my brow. And then in the inside corner of my eyes. Now I'm going to tight line with my L'Oreal Lay Liner. Just run that right under those upper lashes and really get into the base of those lashes. I'm going to be using the Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions for my mascara today, and you guys have to tell me what you think. The reason is, is that I used this mascara yesterday on my eyelashes, <laughs> and you guys know I've been using an eyelash serum. I'll tell you what, I don't know if my eyelashes look good or just over the top. They looked so long, it was almost cartoonish. So you guys need to tell me down in the comments what you think after I put this on, if it's just too much or not. With the Thrive Mascara, I have found it's better to do one eye at a time. In other words, do one coat and then put the second coat on one eye and then move to the next eye, not do one coat on both eyes <laughs> that way. Because the way this dries down and it's a tubing mascara, it's just a different deal. So I found that working on one eye at a time really is the trick. So here's what the mascara looks like. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. 
Somehow I feel like it just might be a little bit too much. What do you think? For lips today, I'm going to be using the Ellie Girl Lip Liner. This is in Nonstop Nude. This is just the best nude lip color. It's an automatic pencil and it's just so very pretty. So there's the lip liner right there. For lips, I'm going to use the Revlon Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish. I love these. These are so nice. They really do stay on your lips and they feel hydrated. And this color is really, really pretty. It's very, very peachy. You can see it right there. I'm just going to smudge that lip liner out a little bit. Here we have the finished look. I think I found a few new products that I'm really loving. The It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation. I like this foundation. I don't think the finish is perfect for my taste. I like something a little bit dewier with a little bit of glow or sheen to it. This is more of a flat, maybe satin look. However, if that's the finish you like, this is an excellent foundation. It goes on really beautifully. Both times I've used it now, it's been really easy to blend in. I don't get the polka dot pores. It really does even out your skin tone and it feels good on the skin. I don't know if it's gonna make your skin look better in two weeks or not, but if you use it and it does, let me know down in the comments. The Sigma eyeshadow palettes, these new nine pen palettes, this is the IV colorway. I love the Sigma formula, you guys know that. And I think this is just a pretty palette. One of the reasons I think this might be a good choice for the spring and summer months is it has a little bit of color to it. There's a nice sort of lime, soft lime green up here, a deep rich sort of gray sky blue, this teal down here that I use to accent the outside corner of my eye and to line with really, really pretty. These formulas are creamy. They almost blend themselves. They're just magical. I like working with the Sigma formulas so much. It's almost like painting on my face because the colors just work so well. So really loving the new Nine Pan Palette series. There's six of them from Sigma. And this one is in colorway Ivy. Really liking this contouring blush bronzing powder from e.l.f. This is such a cute little palette. It actually feels kind of nice in the hand. In other words, the packaging is good. You know how drugstore packaging sometimes can be kind of iffy, but this feels nice. It feels like it would travel well and go in your purse well. I'm not sure this blush color is something that I'm ever going to use, although I might try it in the coming months. But I certainly like this contour bronzing color. I think it did a nice job of defining the contours of my face without looking too warm or too orange. So really appreciating this little palette. Super affordable too. This Clinique Even Better Concealer, you know you guys, I'm actually liking it. I'm not sure you can see in the camera, but my under eyes look pretty good. What I'm looking for in a concealer is a concealer that not only covers up my under eyes and my dark circles, but it makes my under eyes look better. I can't say this makes my under eye skin look glowing. Maybe I'm never going to find that, but it definitely does look really, really good on the skin. In other words, it's not cakey looking. It hasn't clumped into my fine lines and wrinkles. So right now I'm liking this. I think this is going to go into the good concealer batch. And then once I have a whole bunch of good concealers, we'll kind of narrow it down to my favorites. Clinique Even Better Concealer. Right now I'm liking it. And these Milani Cheek Kiss blushes are so good and they're so affordable. I just love good drugstore products. There's several good colors in this line and I think I have another one over in my makeup basket. I don't remember the color. I think it's more of a pink red tone. I thought this might be a little bit too orange, but I think it's looking really, really pretty on the skin. So enjoying this new line from Milani. Thank you so much for joining me for this kind of casual trying some new products makeup day. I hope you found it fun, useful, and helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. You guys know I get such a thrill when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that, and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day. Wear your sunscreen and all. See you in the next video. Bye now.